Pak Vikram. Hi Jo. Do you have time for me today? Come in. I'm just here for a few questions. Is that okay with you? Please tell me how can I help you. First of all, how are you today, Pak? Baik, baik, saya baik. Wow, so you do speak Indonesian. Sedikit, sedikit. Cool. Pak, Pak Vikram biasanya kegiatan kalau weekend apa aja? This is getting hard. But what I understood, you are talking about my weekend. Is that correct? Yes, that's true. Look, on, on weekend, uh, I think it is a bit of a uh, golf on Saturday and Sunday more of a family time. But golf really also helps me get myself recharged for the next week. That's awesome. What's your handicap, Pa? Hey, don't talk about handicap. Let's talk about the rule of the game. So I follow two rules. First, how many balls you are losing, I want to keep minimizing. Second, I started with the score has to be less than 100. But more on a serious note, uh, Joe, I want to tell you this one big learning. I think we all need to keep in mind that consistency is the queen, you know. Uh, last one year, I have been playing at least three times in a month. And what it has done to me is, now I am more or less consistent at a score of 90 average. And, and, and when I look back, it is all about focus and consistency. Very impressive. But how did you start playing golf? I, this is again a very interesting story, Joe. I don't know from where you get all these good questions. Huh? Look, it all started uh, when I first became the managing director for one of the small country in Africa. And as part of that assignment, uh, I was supposed to meet my group CEO and get his brief on his expectation so I got all those things and you know, the last comment from him is all the best and I see you next when I'm there and we play golf together. So that created a lot of stress on me. And then I'm back in a beautiful country called Seychelles, small, beautiful. And then I said, I have to learn golf and get serious. But when I started doing it, I started enjoying it. So this is how the golf journey started. So you've been traveling around for work. Do you bring your family with you? Are they here with you in Indonesia? You can call me a global citizen. Huh? This is my fifth country and I always prefer to go everywhere with family because that, that helps me focus, concentrate, you know. They are a very important support system, you know. And, and uh, uh, look, when, when family, you know, uh, especially uh, last two, two and a half years, I, I have one girl, one boy, my, my daughter is around 11 and my son is 13 year old. So it's very important that whole support ecosystem, you know, uh, they have been a great support to me. Yeah, I can imagine. How has Jakarta treated you and your family so far? Was it different from the first time you landed here? No, I, I, I must say uh, Jakarta is a very cosmo city, but Indonesia, the country and Southeast Asia country, you know, I was in Myanmar before coming here. Uh, has, it's very welcoming. You get very positive by you. And more on the region, when you go to, you know, I've, I've been to places like Padang and all, you know, they are very welcoming. And, and Kalimantan is like one extreme. They give you so much of energy, you know. Similarly with Medan, you know, everywhere. So, Indonesia and, and especially the regions, they are very, very warm, welcoming they really want to go that extra mile and do something for you. That's very nice to hear. By the way, I see your face over there, Pa. Can you share a little bit about that? Oh my God. Look, this is all about people. This is from Maldives, you know. So, so you know, uh, it's all about winning with people. You know, it is all about enjoying the journey. These are priceless moments, you know, at the end of the day, what you leave behind is legacy. What you leave behind is what impact you are creating to the people around you. And for me, the biggest happiness I get is when I see smile on the faces of people who are around us. You know, this is what is something which gives you a lot of energy. Samangat. Samangat pa. Look who is here. <laughs> Nurma keeps me let 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 go and do it 
But Vikram, is it okay if I ask just a few more questions? Sure, sure, sure. Okay, now to the more serious questions. You are now CEO of the Merge Co. What is leadership to you? Look, uh, for me, uh, leadership is all about getting the best out of your entire team, you know. Everyone has something very unique and positive. Leadership is all about getting the best out of everyone. Awesome. Last question, Pat. I won't hold you for too long. Any message for us as we begin this new journey as Indosat Uridu Hajisen? Yes, Joe, let me, let me take this opportunity to start by requesting our leadership team, especially, you know, the senior leadership team. Uh, we need to walk the talk. And, and, and the most important thing is how we are building trust, respect and an alignment for the bigger mission. We have all been very blessed and given this important opportunity to create an impact for Indonesia as a country. And I request all of them to have special focus on employees and customers as we walk through this journey and and let's enjoy this journey you know we are here to create history very exciting that was all the questions i have for you today thank you pa look uh, nurma keeps telling me that i'm not good at time management so let me focus on getting this also right all right i'll leave you to it thanks pa thank you joe all the best